On November 21, 2025, the final day of the Dubai Air Show tragedy struck. An Indian Air Force HAL Tejas fighter jet, performing a routine aerobatic display, suddenly lost control over Al Maktoum International Airport. Around 2.10 p.m. local time, the jet descended sharply and plunged into a massive fireball. Thick black smoke billowed into the sky as emergency crews rushed in. The pilot was Wing Commander Namanch Sial, a highly skilled and experienced officer. He was in his mid-thirties and had earned wide respect for his dedication and discipline. Sadly, he did not survive. The IF later confirmed he suffered fatal injuries and expressed deep sorrow, saying they stand firmly with his grieving family. The Tejas itself is India's pride a home-built light combat aircraft by HAL, designed to showcase India's aerospace ambitions. Its performance at the air show was meant to be a highlight. But what exactly went wrong? Early analysis and expert commentary suggest the jet was attempting a negative-G maneuver just before the crash. Negative-G means the forces act opposite to normal gravity putting pilots and aircraft under extreme stress. According to defense experts, such a maneuver at low altitude is especially risky. The Tejas may have lost stability or the pilot might have suffered a blackout due to the G-forces. Captain retired Anil Gaur speculated that excessive gravitational force may have caused blood to pool in the lower body, potentially leading to a temporary loss of consciousness. In response, the Indian Air Force has launched a court of inquiry. Both Indian and UAE authorities are collaborating analyzing flight data recorder and cockpit voice recorder data to determine whether this was a technical failure, pilot error, or a misjudged maneuver. This crash is a powerful reminder of the incredible risks that demonstration pilots face. High-performance aerobatics especially those involving negative G can push both man and machine to their limits.